Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. It's Antoinette from Simply a Chic where I share my love for decor, DIY, holiday styling and more. I hope you enjoy my channel and I hope you subscribe. So today I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my fall DIY projects that I did here on my channel and they are my favorite. I hope you'll be inspired and let's get started. So the first DIY is this beautiful sign. It's simple and super easy to make. And I am using this wreath form from Dollar Tree and this sign also from Dollar Tree. I really love this sign. So what I'm gonna do here, I am just gonna glue the sign under the wreath like this and add some fall decorations to one corner. But first I decided to add some twigs that I saved from my backyard. I'm just gonna cut these twigs roughly to the size of my frame. They don't have to be perfect or even just about enough to frame the wreath and to give it that rustic look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue them to the wreath. Then I decided to just weave them through the wires that are already on the wreath like you see me doing here, easier and faster. Then I will add a dabs of glue every here and there to secure everything together. And once that's done, I am going to place the sign under the frame and glue them together. Then I will go ahead and style this corner with some fall picks and some flowers that I already had on hand. And here is the finished look. I absolutely love how it turned out. Moving to next project is this cute pumpkin sign and I am using three of these pumpkin signs that I got from Dollar Tree. So first thing I am gonna glue this pumpkin sign back together with some hot glue.
to reinforce it, I will glue these pop sticks at the back like this. Also, I remove any pieces that were on these pumpkins. Then I'm gonna go ahead and paint these pumpkins lightly with some linen chalk paint like you see me doing here. I am also gonna paint the bottom part of this pumpkin as well. Once they are done, I'm gonna use some brown paint and dry brush over the edges. Then I'm gonna use these furniture sharpies from Dollar Tree and go over the words that were already on the signs and highlight them. Once I finish doing that, I have this sign from Dollar Tree as well. I will use the bottom side, then I will use this base that I removed from the little pumpkin earlier and glue it here in the middle. Then I will glue the pumpkin to the base like this. Then I will embellish these pumpkins with some metal leaves that I saved from previous projects and some raffia bows. Then I will glue some Spanish moss to the base and then I hot glue the small pumpkins on each side like this. And here's how it turned out. I thought it looked so cute. I have this cute and sweet sign that was so easy to make. I am using this wreath and this sign from Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do here is really simple. I will just turn the wreath and use the inside then I will hot glue this sign to the wreath like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play around placing different leaves and picks around the sign until I like how it looks. And then I glue and secure everything to the wreath. And that's it, I thought it came out so cute.
So to make one of these pumpkin topiaries, I will need two of these 3D wreaths that I picked up from Dollar Tree. One is bigger size and one is small, some Spanish moss, this berries garland that I had from Michaels a while ago, this leaf garland that was from Dollarama, and I am also using this garland that I had from Michaels a while ago. I'm starting off assembling the big wreath and here on the back side it shows the instructions. I'm just gonna try to gently press on each loop like this to firm it like a shape of pumpkin. And then I am gonna place this metal fixture over the wreath then secure the ends of metal fixture by wrapping around the wire like this. And once the top is done, I will go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom as well. And here is how it looks so far. I think it's really cute. Again, I will do the exact same thing on the smaller wreath. that I already added some baby rocks in this planter that I had around the house and then I added some Spanish moss and I play with it until I covered all the rocks. Then I placed the larger wreath in the middle and then I secured it with some hot glue. And then I stacked the smaller wreath on top of it with a little bit of moss in between like this and then I secured it with some hot glue as well. And once everything was secured, I wrapped this garland at the bottom here. Then I took some of the stems and twist them around each wire to add more texture. Then I took this berry garland and I wrapped it around the middle here but before I do that I removed some of the stems to twist around the rest of the wire as well. Then I went ahead and twisted these berries around the wires, some twisted up and some twist them down. this leaf garland in the bottom and then on the very top I added some moss to cover the metal fixture and for the stem I decided to hot glue this cork on the top of the moss like this then hot glue few more leaves around the cork Then I continued adding more berries until all the wires were covered with berries. Music 
and here is how it turned out i actually made two of them and i thought they look absolutely beautiful let me know in the comment below what do you guys think and also let me know if i should leave them like this or place a pumpkin on the bottom or even some battery operated candles i would love to know your opinions so here i have everything that i might be using for this project and most of the items came from dollar tree except the beads garland that was from canadian tire long time ago so i am starting off with this pizza pan and i will be using the back side of it also i have this adhesive covering that was from dollar tree and i will use it to cover the base of my sign i'm just gonna go ahead and cut a piece that will be enough to cover the pan then I peel the back of it like this and stick the first end to the pan and slowly peel the back all the way down. I am using a cart to smooth it out and get rid of any bubbles. Then I cut the axis out. After that, I just use some hot glue and glue the beads garland around the pan like this. And once that done, I have this stem from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna hot glue it here on the top. Then I go ahead and make a bow using three kinds of Dollar Tree ribbons. I am just gonna play with it until I like the bow. And once that done, I fluff it, then glue it on the very top here. Lastly, 
I have this happy Thanksgiving sign that I saved from another dollar store sign and I am just gonna hot glue it here on the bottom. all for this sign i thought it turned out so cute i hope you enjoyed this quick and easy diy project and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it also let me know in the comment what do you guys think and don't forget to visit the playlist for more of thanksgiving ideas like this I want to share is this gorgeous faux wreath that I made and I used the same grapevine wreath that I redecorate for a different seasons and what I did was really simple and fun at first I played around with how I wanted to arrange everything on the wreath then I went ahead and made my bow I used some wired burlap and some wired pink ribbons I stacked them on top of each other then I fold them few times then I tied some raffias on the middle then I secured it on the back of the wreath once that was done I added the larger items on each side of the bow which I placed two of these pumpkins and two of these sunflowers then I worked my way out adding all the tiny stems and other fall decor. I just weaved everything into the wreath like you see me doing. That way I can easily remove everything when it's time to switch to different season. And here is the finished look of this wreath, absolutely gorgeous. I love the non-traditional colors and how everything looked. Let me know in the comment below if you like more traditional colors or non-traditional. Moving to the next DIY is this cute pink pumpkin that is one of my favorite. It cost zero dollar which I used one of my old tufts and some plastic wrap that was wrapped around a new mirror that we got. I just firmed it as a ball and then I added some of these rubber bands around it to give it that pumpkin shape look. Then I press in the middle like this. Once that was firmed, I went ahead and cut the shirt, then placed the pumpkin in the middle and I grabbed the four corners and tied them with this elastic. Then I cut the extra fabric with scissors and then I tucked everything inside like this. Then I used some hot glue to secure everything down. Then I placed this stem that I got from other pumpkin and I press it firmly and then I use this rustic leaf that I removed from this pumpkin to just embellish my pumpkin. Next DIY were these cute napkin rings. 
I got these branches with three pumpkins on each from Dollar Tree and I just removed the pumpkins and saved the rest of the stems to decorate with. I spray painted the pumpkins with this Rust-Oleum satin blush that I got from Walmart and once they were dry I folded the napkins and wrapped some raffias around the napkin and tied a knot then glue some leaves on top of the raffias I decided to add a stem to my pumpkins so cute on my napkin easy to slide down and super pretty next idea is this swag that my friend gave to me so right away I thought to refresh it with some fall decorations so I removed everything and gave it a little shake then I cut any old flowers that were on this part I only kept some greenery which I love to have for more of natural look then I added these picks that I had from Dollar Tree and I layered them with more picks from Dollar Tree as well then I continued adding the flowers and the pumpkins and they all were from Michael's last year clearance sale Then I fluffed everything out and hung it up on top of my mirror in my entryway. Next DIY is this wreath. So for this one, I used some of these hydrangeas that I picked up from Michael's clearance as well. And this one from Dollar Tree. I also used some berries, pine cones, and some pumpkins. So I went ahead and I arranged everything on the wreath. Here is the finished look of my wreath and I thought it looked so pretty on my guest bathroom door. Next one is this wreath basket. So again, I removed everything and I kept these floral foams in the bottom. Then I cut the swag to small pieces. Then I tried to arrange it in the basket differently until I liked it. Then I added the give thanks sign in the middle again. And there it looks much better on my front door next DIY was really really easy to make I picked up this tray from Goodwill a while ago and I just removed everything that was on the back of the tray and I replaced it with this Thanksgiving paper placemat that was from HomeSense and I thought it looked so pretty and perfect for fall and Thanksgiving I picked up this trifle container that you could use for catering or different occasions and I thought today to use it as a vase for my floral arrangement. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it with this chalked linen white paint that I got from Home Depot and I will give it two coats. And once it's dry, I will insert some of this floral foam from Dollar Tree inside it.
then I'm gonna go ahead and place all my flowers that I already had which some were from Dollar Tree and some from Michael's sale at the end of season Dollar Tree has so many great options of floral stems for fall this season you could grab whatever you need for a very affordable price And here is the finished look of how this arrangement turned out and I think it came out super cute. The second project is this cute wreath. I picked up this placemat from Dollar Tree and this pumpkin sign also from Dollar Tree. Also I have some fall flowers and stems that I already had and again you could use Dollar Tree floral stems if you prefer. So at first I'm gonna try to remove this base and save it for another DIY. Then what I'm gonna do here is super easy guys. I am just gonna hot glue the pumpkin sign on the placemat like this. Then I will place the stems here on this side and glue them together. Then glue the flowers on the same side. That's all what I did to make this adorable wreath. Last project is this cute sign with floral and monogram elements. I picked up this sign from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it with this chalked linens white paint and I will give it two coats. Also I will paint this wooden letter that was from Michaels long time ago. I used it in a DIY spring and summer wreath. I will link that video down in case you want to check it out. And once the sign is dry I will sand the edges with this sanding sponge from Dollar Tree. Then I'm gonna go ahead use a pencil and underline the sign as you see me doing here. And then I use the dry brush method with this acrylic brunette that I use all the time. But then I decided to brush all over it with the same brunette paint. I mixed it with a little bit of water just to give it that finished distressed look. And once that dry, I hot glue the letter K on the sign like this. Then I go ahead and glue some of these fall flower that I already had from Dollar Tree. And 
the finished look. I absolutely love it. I think it turned out super pretty. I hope you enjoyed watching how I made these simply a cheek fall DIY project and I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment below which one was your favorite and until I see you on my next one, be well and have fun.